Welcome to the 11th GigaMesh video tutorial. In this video, we demonstrate the computation and visualization of feature vectors, also called multiscale integral invariance, short MSII. These can be used to highlight details of any size. Today's example is a tablet of the Uruk Waka collection of the German Archaeological Institute, hosted by Heidelberg University. Both sides of the tablet fragment contain cuneiform characters in different sizes. Additionally, two imprints of fingertips can be seen. The tablet was found during excavations in Uruk in the middle of the 20th century. Multiscale integral invariant feature vector computation is started by clicking the MSII button. Make sure the mesh is cleaned before this step. This can be done via the button Automatic Mesh Polishing. Type the maximum size of the surface features you want to detect, usually in millimeters, corresponding to the background grid. It is possible to measure the size of the feature of interest using two or more positions. The largest distance will automatically be shown in the dialog. Hold Control to activate the selection mode and click on the points along the feature. The positions will be highlighted with blue pins. In this case, we want to highlight the width of the cunei, which is Latin for wedge. It is typically 2 mm. The value of the feature size can be changed to compute uniform filter results on multiple files. After clicking OK, you can select whether the computed file should be saved. The following MSII computation will take time, up to several hours. GigaMesh will not use all CPU cores to keep your computer usable for other tasks. By default, the computed curvature is shown using the hot color ramp. Bright colors mean high curvature. Deselect the positions using the corresponding submenu in Select. The colors represent the local curvature of the surface. To mimic tablets treated with toxic ammonium chloride, we select the gray color ramp and invert it. Now concave areas are shown in dark colors, flat areas in medium gray and convex areas in white. Select strong ambient lighting to decrease shading effects of the areas shown in dark colors. It is possible to save the current visualization of the function value as color per vertex. The new file, including the feature vectors, is saved to the directory of the input file. The file name includes parameters used for computation such as the radius of the MSII filter. Now we are going to highlight the fingerprints. Details like fingerprints are found on one scale, that is the element, of the computed feature vector. So we select a single scale ranging from 0 to 15. Selecting smaller scale indices will highlight larger surface features and vice versa. With the quantile minimum maximum settings, the contrasts can be further optimized. Compared to ambient occlusion and many other faster algorithms, the MSII filter allows you to highlight small faint details and to select a specific size of these details. Thank you for watching.